Chapter 1. Steps to Completion of Spherical Gears The completion of this spherical gear was the result of several studies. The first study is planar omnidirectional driving gears. The planar omnidirectional driving gears have two gear columns that are perpendicular to each other. When one spur gear rotates, the planar omnidirectional driving gear translates in one way. When another spur gear rotates, it translates in perpendicular way. These force vectors are combined on the surface of the planar omnidirectional driving gear. The second study is convex and concave omnidirectional driving gears. The convex and concave omnidirectional driving gears have positive and negative curvatures. When it has positive curvature, convex omnidirectional driving gear translates according to the rotation of one spur gear. It rotates when another spur gear rotates around the same axis. These force vectors are combined on the surface of the convex omnidirectional driving gear. The concave omnidirectional driving gear moves in the same manner. In case of convex and concave omnidirectional driving gears, they have curvatures in only one direction. Therefore, we have developed the omnidirectional driving gear that has curvatures to two perpendicular directions for more various applications such as active ball joints of robotic arms. This is the motivation for development of the spherical gear that has three degrees of freedom. The crucial differences between this spherical gear and ordinary spur gears are the twisting and pull, which are the most innovative parts of this spherical gear. This time, let's take a closer look at twisting in Chapter 2. Chapter 2. About the twist of spherical gears. Spherical gears are controlled by two monopole gears. When the blue monopole gear rotates, the torque is transmitted to the spherical gear in the same way as the conventional spur gear. When the blue monopole gear is twisted, the spherical gear is twisted with respect to the same rotating axis. This is the most special motion of the spherical gear. The blue monopole gear and the red one rotate together. The force vectors are combined on the surface of the spherical gear. This is the twisting in spherical gears. Please also enjoy the description within the event at our garage folks.